Hello everyone. Thank you for attending to this Clayu webinar. So the idea is to show you the main features of Clayu, and uh, for that I'm going to open the uh, Rhino. In this case, Matrix Gold. Remember that Clayu is a Rhino plugin, and uh, it's included in Matrix Gold. But also, it can be used as a standalone plugin inside Rhino. So uh, at this point, I'm going to create um, a ring and I'm going to show you trying to cover all the main features of Clayu. So I'm going to start with by turning on the Clayu mode and you will see that when we turn on Clayu mode, we will have this viewport toolbar in here and this will allow us to control the Clayu object. So in this case, we are on sub D, I'm going to start with a ring. So here under creation, we have this signet ring option. So I'm going to define my ring. We have here all the different options to define the, the size, the, the ring size, and uh, of course the measurements. At this point, uh, I'm going to I'm going to define the to keep the, the default, it's okay. And uh, I'm going to work a little bit uh, on the details. First thing I want to do, this is a, a solid ring. I'm going to create here in the top a recessed area to, the, to then apply some relief. And uh, of course, now the first thing I want to do is, as it is a solid ring, I'm going to hollow it. So I'm going to select the inside faces. You will see that we have here the different selection mode types. At this point, I am on faces selection mode. So we can select all the faces. In this case, is, is, the, is the faces I want to remove. And so with all the other ones. And now what I'm going to do is uh, to use the shell tool. The shell can be found under uh, addition. Here it is, shell, and automatically will delete the selected faces and try to hollow the ring. And of course, we can define the thickness and, or directly here in the, in the command line, uh, we can type the, the measurements we want. So in this case, I define the thickness and uh, looks good. Of course, we will, we will be able to uh, work a little bit more in here. I just want inside to push it down a little bit. So I select these four faces. You see that automatically the gumball appeared, the clay gumball on the faces. So I can put these faces a little bit down. We can check here in the front view exactly the position. And all this is because I want to create here in the top a recessive area. So I'm going to Maybe first thing I'm going to do is to select all these loop of faces and divide them, create here a division, so divide. We have uh, another division here in the top, so now I'm going to be able to move this down. And you will see why I created this division, because when we move this down, what will happen is that in here stays a very, very sharp corner. So this division will allow me, I'm going now to edges uh, selection mode, and it will allow me to scale with the gumball to scale, in this case, to this scale, a little bit inside, and you will see that this will be more smooth. So we are looking more this kind of, of shape. So after this, I'm going to adjust a little bit more here the, the inside faces. I can select them and once again scale a little bit just to make this wall exactly as i want so now you can see the shape we have here it's it's the ring uh, the solid ring and uh, for this part what i've been using so far is uh, sub d uh, in in clay U, as uh, if you are uh, familiar with it in clay we have three, three different uh, possibilities or, or technologies that um, allow us to, to model. So this is the first one, the subdivision. And also we had the emboss mainly for reliefs as well as sculpt. So uh, in the last webinar, I've been uh, mainly focused on, on the subdivision tools. In this one, I'm just creating this ring with the subdivision tools. And now we um, 
we will uh, create the other parts using the other different uh, technologies. In case if you have any question, feel free to um, to write here on the on the chat. You have here the possibility to make any questions to us, and uh, we will be happy to to assist on anything we can. Uh, so back to our model. What I'm going to do now, since I have the ring. Uh, the, the 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 part the main body of the ring done i can turn off sub d so i just click on the sub d icon and this means that i don't have no longer the clay uh, toolbar in the viewport this is disabled you can see now my object is a, a regular mesh if anytime we need to come back to the addition mode we just turn on clay again and you will be able to to come back to the addition otherwise at this point i can I can hide it and uh, what I'm going to do now is to hide it and I'm going to uh, create the relief in the top. We, uh, the relief, uh, we will use uh, the emboss. Uh, the emboss, uh, it's also part of ClayU and it's based on curves. So before we start applying the reliefs, we need to have the design or the curves done uh, in Rhino. Uh, to be able to apply the reliefs. I have created here already some curves. Uh, these, these curves are flat, as you can see, and the idea is to apply some uh, reliefs to it, and I'm going then to create, uh, to put this object in the top of the, of the ring. So mainly what I'm going to focus now is on the emboss tools. So first thing is to uh, turn on uh, the clay emboss, and it will, uh, it will ask us to define the project settings. Mainly what we can define in here is, is how we want the, the result. So it can be a mesh, it can be a mesh, but with thickness, it can be a symmetric in the top and the bottom, or a flat cap in the, in the back. So in this case, uh, we can choose also the, this, uh, this means this rectangular, the area where our curves are in, so we can adjust as well as the resolution. And once the projects are, uh, the settings are defined, remember that any moment we can come here and, and adjust whatever we need. So I can start now with my uh, reliefs. You will see that now in Boss we have uh, all the options right here on this side panel, and it will work with the operations. So we need to add one operation. In this case, we have one operation in here, but we need to define what it is and where it will be applied. So what I'm going to choose in this case is we have operation type and we have the operation curve. So the curve, if I click on the curve, I need to select one curve from to apply this operation. So I select one of these curves, in this case, the outside curve, enter, and it will show us this profile. As you can see, we can adjust the height, we can adjust the profile exactly as we want, and it will be applied to the selected curve. So I just refresh, and as you can see now, the result from this first profile, it's here. So the idea is to keep adding more and more uh, uh, details, in this case, based on these curves. So what I'm going to do, the next step is to add another operation, and now the curve I'm going to select is, for instance, this one. So exactly the same process, I just define the height I want, and the profile, we have a huge library of profiles. You can choose then from here. I'm going to keep using the, the default one. And once again, I just refresh, and you will see that uh, it will create our second profile. If it is too much, we can adjust, and uh, then we will be able to clean all these all these edges so i'm going to keep going I, we can hide the previous gumballs in each operation and my next step now it will be the horn so i select this and this enter the height of the curve looks good refresh and we have here the horns so as you can see operation by operation curve by curve we are adding our details to the model so the next one we uh, are going to do, it will be this curve. So I will select this curve and enter here. 
And now once again, I can add the profile, this case a little bit, and refresh. So as you can see, we are adding our details. Now I'm going to add another one. And now the, the funny thing is that we will have, uh, instead of uh, adding to raise the relief, we will uh, go in the opposite direction. So I'm going to select the curves, this, this one, and this one, enter. And now what I'm going to define in the settings is instead of being add, I'm going to define subtract. So this means that it goes down so I can define my profile here, refresh. And as you can see now, it's, it's uh, this kind of details that you can keep playing with. So the next step, I'm going to add the eyes. So let's select the curve. As you can see, always the same process, select an operation, and then the curves you want to use in this operation. In this case, in the project settings, I will do the same, subtract. And here we go with a profile, refresh. And as you can see, this is the result. So uh, the last ones, I believe it's almost, and we will, we will uh, define the last uh, touch uh, details under sculpting. So in here, I can add one more curve and I'm going to add this one, these ones, these ones, and finally these ones. So now I believe all are ready. Just adjust the profile, height, and refresh. All right, so looks good. Of course, we could increase here the height, refresh again, see if need any adjust, adjustment. But it looks looks uh, what I was looking for. Of course, I will I will adjust the final details with the sculpting with some brushes. So uh, from the emboss part, this is mainly what I wanted to show you what we can do with emboss tools. So this is uh, this kind of reliefs that uh, um, we are creating. So finally, to uh, to finish with emboss, I just click OK to apply the to apply the 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 object to the document and now what i'm going to do is bring back the ring and uh, adjust the scale of this object to be in the top of my ring so i wanted something like this here looks good and of course we need also the position here and i think we are okay let's take a look on the perspective of course in here we barely can see it because the mesh is very detailed so i'm going to change here the display mode maybe this one will be better and uh, we are uh, we are um, very close from from the result I wanted to show you. What I uh, also want to want to do now is to use the sculpting tool. So the sculpt it's here, uh, the sculpt menu. So we just enable the sculpting. Uh, in this case, uh, let me just select the object. So the objects I want to sculpt in this case will be just this this uh, bull head and you will see that now what we will be able to do is we we will have again in this viewport toolbar some brushing tools so the idea is to use these brushing tools in our in our model what we can do is uh, let me just see if i can show you can see here this is the mesh resolution in some display modes you can see it so this resolution is more than enough to start sculpting if the resolution is not so good i recommend you to subdivide in here you can always increase the resolution but for this case as it is uh, okay i'm going back to my uh, display mode i had and i'm going now to the smooth first thing i'm going to smooth we can increase here the the radius and the intensity of our brush 
and also we can make it sy symmetric. So uh, I'm going now to start with this uh, brushing tools. As you can see, we can smooth all these sharp edges from our model. So this is the kind of the game that allow you to go to these details that other way it would be hard to do it in herbs and clay you really allow you to do this organic modeling in a very easy way as you can see so i'm now with these details brushing here these sharp corners i want it more smooth if you want more intensity we can do it even more so as you can see these parts we can adjust every detail as we want here is probably still too much we can smooth at this point i'm just with a smooth but we have many more brushes in the in the in the options from the from the the in this case the sculpt so we will be able to give some more details if we need so for instance if i want here is too much. I'm just defining here the radio. So we can here give some more brushes, maybe need a little bit more intensity. And let's see, as you can see, we could adjust here. Of course, we would need always to smooth a little bit more to give more texture to this. But mainly, this is the idea here it's a little bit more smooth and here we go so uh, mainly are these these three different possibilities inside clayu i really hope you enjoy it if you are looking for organic uh, uh, for a tool to design your organic models or, uh, I believe ClayU will be a very helpful tool. So I just click OK. And here we go. This is the result. We could create now a nice rendering here. Let's just hide these curves and maybe apply some materials. For instance, in this one, we could use the yellow gold and then environment. And as you can see now, we could uh, define the render resolution. Let's choose here some nice resolution, the position and render our model. And uh, mainly this is what I wanted to show you in this webinar. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, we will dedicate this last five, 10 minutes to answer uh, your questions. So uh, feel free to let us know your feedback. We will be happy to help you. Thank you.